Hey everyone, I'm Jay Warren. Behind me is the construction zone for the new Central Library here in Arlington. And as construction goes on here, let me tell you, the programming the library offers is still going on at branches throughout Arlington. There's something for everyone, and here's City Manager Trey Yelverton to show us two of those programs. Thanks, Jay. Today I'm at the East Library with Marla Boswell, one of our program specialists in our homeschool uh, entry-level robotics class. So, Marla, welcome. Uh, tell me a little bit about what's going on in the classroom today. Well, today we're working on color sensors, and what that is is they're programming the robots to sense seven different colors. A lot of the schools in the area actually have robotics, they have maker spaces, but these guys don't. So that's what we are as a public library, to extend that public service to them. Does anyone know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? Uh, it can solve it between two and three minutes. We use the Lego Mindstorm, so it's through Lego Education. And we purchased these kits through uh, a grant we received from Lockheed Martin. Building our future engineers. Huh? Right, right, right. So they learn. It's every letter in STEM, um, science, technology, engineering, math. Sometimes they don't even know that they're learning math because they're just having too much fun. Right. This really is a whole new world for what libraries have become for our city. Yeah. Well, it's so great because uh, libraries have always been a place to attain knowledge. But now, I think libraries are starting to move towards like things of this nature, where you can actually gain that knowledge in a different way. I'm with my new friend Daniel from our uh, robotics class today and uh, tell me a little bit about your robot that you built here. It's capable of going in a straight line, detecting the color just one by one. Alright, let's see what we got So, here. I have the program set to Twister, which is the name of the program, and I'm just going to press the set to button. And then, if I move it to the blue one. Daniel, thanks for letting me work with you today. Nice to meet you, and I hope you enjoy the class. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. I've been with the city in the library for 25 years okay. as a librarian. And most recently, I have been the library services manager for lifelong learning. You're going to go um, to the table and trace around your pattern. We've had a lot of fun doing programming for folks over the age of 65. And that's what we're doing here with the Creative Agent. What helped you come up with this concept? Well, it's, it's really kind of a nationwide movement. The idea is that the arts are very good for people, really of any age, but especially over the age of 65. What's the meant to you to be able to come up and, and participate in some of the creative activities? Because uh, I, love, activities. I just love the uh, to the art and it's so, I like the environment. Mm -hmm. um, and when you find something that you really love to do, whether you're good at it or not, mm -hmm. just the enjoyment of doing something that you, you really enjoy, uh, it's, it's perfect for me. The library has always been a place to find information and to get connected. So we still do that better than anybody. I think we've reached about 300 people. I think you did wonderful. Uh, well, I, you know, I, we'll, we'll count it as a, as a place to start. I know. Let's show everybody kind of what, what we got going here, your okay. art and my art. And we'll just compare and contrast. The, uh, the, the, the detail and, and beauty between uh, Miss Davis's work and mine. Debbie, I want to thank you on behalf of our residents and all of our citizens in Arlington, all the work, good work that you guys are doing. Uh, creative aging class is fun and it's making people engaged in the library and doing lots of good things. So just thank you very much for what you're doing. Thank you. It is just a pleasure and a privilege to be able to do such meaningful work. And I really appreciate the opportunity I've had. Good. Thank you so much. Thanks, Trey, and thanks to you for watching this episode of On the Clock. We'll see you next time.